Welcome everybody to a five minute quick edit. So today I'm gonna take this raw file that is barely visible and I'm gonna turn it into a very bright and punchy and colorful picture like this at the end using Lightroom Classic CC in no more than five minutes. And today's photo has been submitted by Petrum, so check them out right there. But let's let, let's get into the actual editing. Way too dark, so I'm gonna bring up the exposure by about two stops. Now way too orange as well, so let's bring out the color temperature to kind of a bluish tint, quite bluish actually. Shadows, I'm just gonna bring them up while bringing down the highlights just a tiny bit. Bring up the whites to give more punch in the stars and because the foreground is so different than the actual stars I will definitely have to do a separate graduated filter for the stars so let's do that right now. For that I'm gonna go into the plus contrast just to bring everything out a bit more. It could even use more exposure plus white really helps with the punch and here's a little trick for star photos, bring up the clarity. That will show every star so much more clearly and you can really bring it up by like a hundred and it looks just way more punchy and stunning because it brings out all of these smaller stars. Now with the highlights, you have to be careful not to go like too bright and weird. So you can kind of fine tune your exposure by bringing them down and saturation, you know, I don't wanna do like that. So let's just leave it there. Let's actually bring down the blacks because in my opinion, it's kind of important to still have some dark parts with stars because then, well, the stars will pop even more, but also the whole picture will look kind of more nightish and it just looks better in my opinion. Now, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do with this graduated filter, I think. So let's just go down into the tonal curve. Well, actually not even tonal curve, just split toning. Now, what I'm gonna do is just go into the shadows kind of add a different hue of blue, a very light blue, which I think looks absolutely fantastic here in the shadows because most of the dark stuff, well, most of the picture in the sky is very dark. So I just want to have it more light blue. And um, because as you can see, this picture was shot ISO 1000 with a not that bright of a lens and on a crop sensor body. So you will have to add noise reduction. No matter what you do, you will definitely have to add it and also add in some color noise reduction, bring the smoothness all the way to the right as well as the, as the color slider itself. And then what you can do is actually bring up the sharpening while holding down the old key, bring the mask to the right, and it will add just sharpening to the actual stars, which kind of helps combat the very heavy noise reduction. Now, one big thing that I'm sure you see here is this crazy bluish color from the flashlight because just the, the white balance doesn't match up with the stars. So what I did here is add a radio filter and I'm just gonna add some warms in the tonal or temperature slider and also bring down the overall saturation. I really wanna make this quite big. There's not much like going on in terms of super important color anyways down here. So I can make it rather big, just get rid of it, make it kind of look better compared to before. It look, really looks super weird and afterwards it looks a lot better. Now, another idea that I have here is definitely adding a an, another radial filter for just the flashlight because here he kind of went for this cool looking and very iconic um, flashlight, um, I guess, light. I just want to make it a bit more extreme, I guess, or just show it a bit better. And while doing that, I'm going to bring up the exposure, bring up the whites, and I wanna make sure that it's quite narrow and of course it aligns with the actual flashlight. Make it a bit less strong towards the edge, but that's pretty much it. The la very last thing that I wanna do is a very small thing, but it will help the overall mood, which is adding another radial filter yet again and bring down the exposure in it and add one over these distant mountains and then add one right here as well. And that is so the mountains are actually dark, they add some silhouettes, it just, it just gives a little bit of a different vibe to the whole picture and it really helps to preserve this night and darkish feel. But what I'm also gonna do is add another very last grail filter here over the actual person who's holding the flashlight because I wanna have some more attention to him. I'm gonna do that by just bringing up the exposure a bit, bringing down the saturation so it doesn't look too weird while still bringing down the blacks but now you can see there's definitely way more attention on actually uh, on the person rather than before. You yeah, could even bring up the whites. Gotta make sure I don't have the snow too bright. So I'm gonna bring down the highlights and that is all I'm gonna do for today. Now this actually almost dark and black picture is actually the raw file that we started out with. 
And then this is of course the picture that I ended up with in these roughly five minutes. So I don't know about you, but I think it's just a, a tiny bit, you know, a little bit brighter and uh, cooler looking. But thank you very much for watching. If you want to support this show and channel and stuff, then consider buying a print on my website or buying some of the gear that I use through the Amazon affiliate links. I do appreciate your support very much. But if you want to submit your picture to have a chance that I will edit it on the next episode, then upload it to Google Drive and send me the direct message link through Instagram to the Drive file, raw file, um, the link in the description stuff. Okay, take care.